Happy Monday, beauties. It's great to see you. I'm Courtney Kaysen, and welcome in to Makeup Monday. This is a once a week happy hour where we hang out on Mondays and discuss all things beauty. And today is actually gonna be a really big episode because for the month of January, we are focusing on brand new beauty brands that you are seeing for the first time here on Beauty IQ, QVC, and of course, QVC too. So if you check on our website all month long, it's new beauty, new you. First of all, Get ready to stock up. That is the most addictive part of our website because you're like, I am sorry, you get how many eyeliners for less than $20? So it's the perfect time to be like, okay, what am I out of? What do I need to stock up on? And what's new? What's exciting? What are the new beauty trends and what are the brands that are going to deliver it? Well, we're gonna be talking about all of them today across the board from Pop Sugar to Clinique. We're gonna see some benefit products. We've got Too Faced and of course, we've got that highly coveted Urban Decay Brow that seems to be sold out everywhere and we just had our debut of it on Friday. So I'm super happy you're here and whether you're watching on my page, Beauty IQ or QVC, Feel free to ask questions on the QVC page. You can also shop anything that you see in the show based off the link that is, is the link above or below? It depends on what you're looking at. We don't know, but, but if you see something that's highlighted in blue, that's what you'll click on <laughs> to take you to the Makeup Monday landing page where you can shop all of these phenomenal products. And as always, shout out to our friends and folks behind the camera who are bringing us Makeup Monday. It's gonna be a glorious day. I guess we should go ahead and get started. So what's brand new? Let's talk about Clarins for just a second. I'm so excited that we have this new ginger energizing moisturizer. First of all, I don't know about you, but I wake up every single day and look at my skin and I'm like, I'm sorry. I have radiant heat, I wear a moisturizer, I have a humidifier. When did my face get so old? Well now, we finally have a moisturizer that kind of hold that in, especially to start the morning with, which is great, because as we know, it's freezing outside. It's very cold. It's uh, very hey, cold. Uh, a lot of people are saying hello. <gasps> Hi! Donna, Lisa, Ew. Meryl, uh, and we had some people come in early. That uh, Joan, Hi. Uh, Pamela, Nancy Carr sends kisses, <gasps> Wendy, Christy, mm. just... Everybody's Game's all excited. here. Yeah. Well, I have to tell you, say hi on Facebook. We'll say hi back. And of course, if you have any quest like any questions, um, that was actually super French. And I have That's to like, nice. yeah, I was like, questions? Bonjour. <laughs> uh, we've been talking a lot about a French territory uh, in the digital department today called Quebec. Part of you wants to say Quebec. You know, because you think that's very French, but we actually went on Google for the pronunciation, and it's Quebec. Uh, so yeah, feeling very French today, feeling very I inspired. So maybe I'll do like cold weather chic with new beauty, new you. Ooh. Yeah. By the way, this moisturizer is super, super decadent. Sometimes I feel like morning moisturizers, we don't have any depth to them sometimes. They almost go on like a serum, which is fine. I like it to be lighter because I wear makeup and whatnot, but this is a little bit of a heavier texture, and I feel like you get that coat of armor on your skin, which is what I need for when the wind chill today is 25 degrees. It's so cold. Very depressing. And it smells good. It smells like orange and ginger. So you get that sensorial effect. It's like a glass of fresh pressed juice for your face. And there went the sun. <laughs> All right, so that's our moisturizer that's brand new to the queue this month. And the nice thing about this is it's a gel moisturizer. So for those of you that like something that absorbs really quickly but has all-day staying power, you're really going to appreciate this. So I'm also going to take you through something that I have been wishing and hoping and praying we would bring to the queue, and that's Benefit Cosmetics. I don't know about you, but I think Benefits has some of the best packaging on the planet. Like you just walk by it and you're like, I want all of that on my face right now. So this happens to be the Professional Pore Minimizing Primer. And a lot of you always ask me, do you use a primer? Do you not use a primer? What are your thoughts? And here's the thing, I hope for the best every day that I put my makeup on. Sometimes that includes a primer, other times it doesn't. But when I put this on, you'll actually see how this kind of mats out my complexion in a really good way, because even if you don't wear makeup, this is really kind of nice to mat the shine, but also like hide the crazy crevices that pores are. And I think to date, some of the most depressing information I have ever received on Beauty IQ is that pores are always open. They actually never close. 
they're always open to take on the dirt, the oil, you name it. And you're like, well, shucks. Like, what was that? What was that like exfoliant for? Like, what was that little extractin for? So you've got to keep them clear, but you also have to like blur them away from sight. So that's what this is gonna do. And it's kind of in a skin neutral tone, which is great for all skin types. So that way you don't have to worry about it being like a chalky primer. So I'm going to start by applying some just here on my nose. And you can see how that has like a really velvety matte finish just from this side alone compared to like how shiny that is. Tracy says hello. Hello, and Tracy. Stephanie waved at you. <gasps> I got a wave? Is that my first wave? I think so. Oh my gosh, what a Monday. It's a good way to start. It really is. I liked your uh, poor fun fact. I didn't know they were always it's open. It's a terrible fact. Yeah, it's like 7-Eleven, they're always open. Yeah. Which, by the way, did you know 7-Eleven started selling, like, very organic, like, crushed juices? Ooh. Yeah. Like, so you can get a Slurpee and, like, a carrot ginger tonic. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're, they're really Have you tried? I saw an advertisement for it, and I was like, wait, what? Like, doesn't that negate everything that you go to a convenience store? Like, I want Funyuns, and I want Reese's Pieces, in no particular order. Taquitos! <laughs> Right. Olay! Counter, <laughs> the, the healthy shake uh, counterbalances the six hour hot dog that's on there. Wait, should we ask our first question? Oh, wait, I already asked. Oh, you asked, primer, okay. The primer. Yes, what about primer? Do you use primer? Do you yeah, not use primer? So we're actually at a 50 50 split right now. Okay, well, you know what? I'm actually happy that we're at a 50 50 split because I think those that don't use primer are obviously more inspired to use it. I mean, you saw like what a hot, like flashy mess my face was when I walked in. I actually forgot we were starting earlier today and they were like, hi, are you still coming? And I was like, hmm. <laughs> so I was a little shiny from running across Studio Park. And by the way, it's like a solid quarter of a mile from where I was sitting to this studio right here. Um, but I feel like it matted everything out. But I don't feel like I lost like I'm not going to say the illumination of my complexion because I don't have a very illuminating complexion, but I, I'm not too shiny. And in this studio particularly, it can be shiny really quickly, even though you're not in person. And so I like that you still have a little bit of the dewiness, but it's not like, whoo, oh my gosh, is that the sun or is that her face? Don't know the <laughs> difference. But please answer our poll whether you use primer or not, um, because really the entire reason that you use primer in this case is to quite honestly mattify your pores without putting product on. But if you are somebody that say you do your makeup at 7.30 in the morning and you're like, look, I don't get out of work until 6.30 and you know my boss is gonna want a meeting at 5.30 to discuss the day's events, you don't want your makeup to leave your complexion, the primer that you're gonna see here is probably the easiest way to avoid that. Because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes the day goes by so fast and it's like, I don't have time for a touch up even if I had 30 seconds. I so. Know you, you need a touch-up all the time, Mike? I, I think I need more than a touch-up, but I just never have time. Yeah, it's very frustrating. And you can't pencil in a 30-second touch-up in Outlook. You know, it's like a minimum 15 minutes. People start asking questions. Yeah. You don't want to ask too many questions. All right, I am going to use this optical blurring brush, and this is from Urban Decay. I'm gonna use that with their naked skin. I think that this time of year, a lot of us want to redo our makeup bag, specifically with what we want out of a foundation. This has a serum texture, and why I appreciate so much is it is the lightest weight foundation I think I've ever experienced on my complexion, but it doesn't wear heavy. However, it has maximum coverage that looks like great skin. And so on a day where you're having a breakout on a day where you're like, wow, that's cute. Is that my 39th pour that I physically counted out loud? I want to go for this. Uh, Pam says she loved, she loved me some makeup. Ah, yay. We do too, Pam. I love me some makeup. And I'm actually going to stipple this in just because I think a lot of people think with, I'm going to show you the texture, just, um, how liquid this is and how serum-y that you couldn't stipple and kind of concentrate on other areas but you can, and it moves, which I really like. Because I don't know about you, but it is so frustrating when somebody's like, okay, that's cute. You have six seconds of playtime. You're like, hmm, on the face? Like, what happens if I get distracted? What happens if I miss a spot? Um, that will never happen with this foundation. And if you notice, I tend to carry a lot of redness in my skin. I love that this just looks like balance. I mean, I would even say if you don't like the thought of wearing makeup, but you need some coverage, this might be a foundation that people will not look at your skin and be like, 
you only wear powder foundation, you only wear liquid foundation. It kind of just blends into the natural texture of your skin but gives you great coverage that looks dewy without being over shiny. Okay, wait, I feel like because we were talking about 7-Eleven, mm -hmm. I need to get this out and I need to know, because uh -oh. people here make fun of me a lot, um, that I, I, I like a chain restaurant. I obviously am talking about a 7-Eleven. When I was in school at Mississippi, you would eat gas station food all the time and it was like really good. Like you would have chicken on a stick, you would have pizza on a stick. You I mean, could, technically Wawa is a gas station. Yeah, so Wawa is a gas station up here and they have the best sandwiches. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I want to know what your favorite gas station food is. Ooh. Here, I will make a poll. We're going to make a poll. I just feel like that should be, in a world where convenience takes precedent more than ever, and you're like, can I get a quick bite to eat at the 7-Eleven with my ginger carrot tonic, but also my <laughs> Slurpee? <laughs> like, what's your favorite gas station food? So food, not, okay. Well, we could do food, we could do drink, like. Okay, so let's see. So what are the options? <sighs> we could do, let, like, let's do a hot dog. Of course. Obviously a hot dog's gotta be there. What else? Well, I feel like hoagie. what's How about hoagie, hoagie yeah. or I just or so or sub. Yeah, well, I can't. The sub and a hoagie are the same thing. Yeah. So. so there's no difference between a sub and a hoagie. I think it's where, it's where you live. Yeah. Geographic. It's like soda dialect. versus pop. Yeah. Hmm. Slurpee. It's soda. Slurpee. I mean Slurpee. chips. Reese's Pieces. I mean there's there's donuts. Candy or chips. Candy. Donuts. I mean, there's, I mean, if you think about it, like, it's a tiny grocery store inside there of just your wildest desires of food that's probably terrible for you. Yeah, it's, it's a store of bad decisions. Yeah, but like on an eight-hour road trip makes the trip. Oh, totally. Yeah, so riddle me that. All right, so this is the foundation, and this is one that I will always tell you time and time again. I don't ever compliment my complexion because I think it needs a lot of work, but always when I use this foundation, I could feel fine stepping out into the studio, going out in real life, like going out on date night, just wearing this and nothing else because it looks like really well-balanced skin, which in a, a month of new you, new beauty, and just kind of trying to take a break from all the craziness when it comes to makeup, this is just a breath of fresh air. And so I use the shade 4.0 in the Naked Skin, um, and I haven't put on self-tanner in like a week, so I think that's like a true medium skew because I'm I'm always trying to thrive for my best medium tan rich tone it doesn't always work out for me all right so where should we go next I feel like we should kind of do brows next what do you guys think brows brows love a good brow okay so was it just me or on Instagram on Friday was the world exploding in just sheer delight that Urban Decay yeah. brought their new brows. I mean, every single influencer was like having a giveaway. This was like the moment tutorial of beautiful brows. And so we have three pieces tonight from Urban Decay. One includes the brow blade, which you see right here. Then we have your brow powder, which you see right here. And then I didn't know this, but we're gonna add a little sparkle to my brow. Yeah. So they have a clear shade. And then they have this, uh, in the spirit of being French. Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. oui, <laughs> they have this champagne color. <laughs> oh, that is the, print, the French oh. don't have a solid G in their pronunciation of champagne. That's just me being a redneck. But I find myself wondering, like, when did this whole add a little sparkle and a little luster to our brow become a thing? Like, did you know that was a thing, Mike? Uh, no. CC, did you know? I did. What do you think it brings to the table, this sparkle in a brow? Sparkle in a brow. Well, I feel like brows happen to be kind of your best feature. Mm -hmm. Like, doesn't it kind of like set the tone for the rest of your symmetry of your face? Abs yeah, I mean, it's the one defining moment of like, okay, this this is a face. We got so some brows. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is a face. And we say it just like that, like you, you put on your makeup and it's like, where's your face? And then you put your brows on and you're like, oh, there you there are, Peter. Is. Yeah, when he finally like comes back from the Lost Boys and they like touch around and feel it, I'd have to like touch someone's brow and be like, you're alive. We have brows. Did you just make a Lost Boys reference? Yeah, of course I did. Oh, love, lo love the Lost Boys. So good. All right, so question. Do you think I should go for the brow pencil, like the brow blade, or should I go for the powder? 
Because I feel like I don't have great brows. Like this one is thinning out for, I mean, I'll probably lose my tail on that one. <laughs> I'll be like, hi, I have no brow tail. Maybe you should use the blade and then fill Maybe in. fill in with some powder to yeah. create some texture. I think that sounds like a great idea. Because you might be wondering at home, like, okay, our brow is complicated. How do I know when to stop? That's a great question. Because once you get brows, when you don't have any, you're like, this is the most magical experience on the planet. Susan would like to sh have you show the brow blade. Okay, so it is this little tiny micronized pencil that you see right there. So Sean's gonna zoom in. So it's like really tiny. And that's meant to just mimic the normal kind of shape and diameter of each individual brow hair. And I will say when looking for a pencil, for me personally, I try to go for the tiniest pencil possible because I think that's the most natural application. And a lot of times when they're slanted, because my brows aren't the diameter, like a lot of times the slanted pencil is wider than like my actual brow. And so I get really like, ooh, is it uneven? Did I carry it too far over? I think the easiest way when learning how to do your brows is with a really tiny micro pencil like this. And so how I usually start my brows is I just color in wherever I have hair. I think to brow map is great, but sometimes I don't have time for that. And other times I think it makes me spend longer on my brows. If I do nothing at all, but just fill in where I have brows, it looks so much better. I mean, just the color fill in alone, it's like, it looks like I had eight hours of sleep versus this eye where it's like, oh, bless your heart. You got two hours of sleep last night. Are you feeling okay? You look sick. That's, that's so irritating when somebody's like, are you okay? You look like you feel good. It's like, I know. I live this. I fully lived it all throughout the day. I knew it wasn't gonna be a good day when I woke up like this. Thank you for noticing. Uh, all right, so I'm just gonna fill in some more and I'm gonna make my brow just a little bit bigger than it normally is. So while you're doing that, I just wanted to let everyone know that on, let's see, what page? I think on Beauty IQ, we have a lot of gas station food fans. Love so, this representation. Do tell. Well, first of all, Chris says I wouldn't trust that from a gas station. Also great. Clearly gr well. Great point. <laughs> um, and then let's see, we have Stacy who says that Speedway has the best hot dogs. Krispy Kreme donuts and pizza are her favorite. Classic. And then Susan just said, I just gained 10 pounds reading that. I also just gained 10 pounds. And you know what, like maybe part of us, like and the reason that we go into a gas station is like, hmm, would I pray for food poisoning to lose three pounds? Just like real quick, right? you know, just like <laughs> one stomach flew away from my goal weight. You know, maybe that's the appeal. It's fast, you had something to eat. And then if it's that bias, you'd be like, can't eat it for a while. I got sick last time I ate the hot dog. But it looks like in our poll right now, <laughs> By the way, be so careful. This doesn't have an end on it. I took it off. And it is a liquid pencil on the other side. See, this is why we do this. So that you don't get home and you're like, whoops, a daisy. And then like, you know, be pensive and put it on your forehead. And be like, I'm sorry, I have marker on my forehead. <laughs> um, so here's what you need to know. This is a liquid liner on the end of it. And I got to tell you, that was super makeup wipes. He's so chivalrous. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's sort of the best. <laughs> Quick, Google it. Um, I'm assuming, Cece, can you confirm this? That this is just a coordinating liner for your brows, so you kind of have that cohesive natural look. Let's look. We're gonna find that out while I still pencil in. Um, okay. So yes, on one side it is a brow pencil, on the yes. other side it's a brow ink. <gasps> brow ink stain. The pencil end is oh. used. <laughs> the pencil end is used to define the center and tail, and then apply the brow stain to create hair-like strokes. Well, could have fooled me. Here I was thinking. Ooh, oh. It's a game changer. You know, I think I like this. All right, so hear me out on this one. You know with like a pencil and a powder, at some point if somebody was gonna get really close to you, it wouldn't look like brow hair. Mm -hmm. To me, this is almost like the microblading of temporary cosmetics. Yes, that's what they said in. We did a stream last week with Urban Decay. Yeah. And they said that. 
That's amazing. That's why it's called the brow blade. So it is. <laughs> so it is. Full circle. Right back to you. <laughs> Live and better than ever. <laughs> and just so you know, 89% prefer candy or chips at the gas station. I'm kind of with you on that one. And a great soda or pop uh, to go along that with that. Awesome. What's your go-to chip? I love the Fritos Twists and Honey Barbecue. And Ooh. it's it's so delicious, I could eat like 18 bags of it and have no regrets whatsoever. And then, Courtney, there's a lot yes. of new eyes joining us. Yeah, so, so welcome just, in. Um, let them know what we're doing. All right, so this is Makeup Monday. We are here every Monday around 4 o'clock, and this one's actually really special because we wanted to bring you brands that you haven't really seen on QVC and Beauty IQ for the month because we've got this really big um, promotion going on .com where we've got sick event prices where you can, I mean, literally get eyeliners upon eyeliners, stock up on your favorite foundation, and the prices, it's like the Black Friday sale of cosmetics. We do it every January, all month long, and so we just wanted to bring you some new ideas so that you would be able to see what's new to uh, QVC Beauty and Beauty IQ. Awesome. So if you want to shop anything that you see in the show, currently I'm playing around with Urban Decay Brows, you can actually just click the link that's like above or below. It looks like a link. It'll take you to the Makeup Monday landing page. And what you can do for there is shop Urban Decay. We've had clearance. Uh, we've also had the naked skin, which I think is great. Um, and now I'm about to bedazzle my brows. I've never done this before. I mean, this is like a like pseudo shimmery brow gel. Amazing. <gasps> oh. You know what? I thought it was going to be like full on sparkle. But it's not. It's, it's just like a little luster. It's like bringing it's forth good luster. features. Yeah, and then keeping my brows in place. Courtney, what was your uh, first meal after your juice fast? Oh. Yeah, tell everyone about this. So juice fast. I, last week, it was a little touch and go. It's on a three day juice cleanse, hoping for the best, just kind of resetting all the, all the batteries, all the internal stuff uh, from the holidays. Day one was fine, day two was fine. Day three, I just significantly missed the physical active eating. And so if you must know, Aaron Graves and I cheated and I made us both, I made us a shrimp cocktail sans the cocktail sauce. I just had to chew something. And I needed to like stand under the 1200 calories, so I, I cheated, down. I broke down, uh, I caved, if you will. I think if I ever do it again, I would still do the juice cleanse. I would do like four juices, like in the morning and through lunch, but I would have dinner. I just really miss the physical act of eating, yeah. you know? So I don't know, it went really well. Like I felt great, slept better than ever. Um, yeah, so that's my thoughts on a juice cleanse. Well, there you go. You know, you have to hope for the best with everything in life, but that one, I thought, like, were Aaron Graves and I going to be speaking to each other? Were, <laughs> you know, would we feel like we'd missed out or, you know, just would we cave and eat a bag of honey twist from Frito-Lay? Maybe. I would. We don't know. All right, so I'm going to use the concealer from Benefit, and this is um, the Gold Industrial Strength Concealer, and I really appreciate that because, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to your under eyes, and even I think breakouts, it's really hard to find something that like upon just like first application covers everything but doesn't like feel like it has to be crazy like blended to do that. So I'm just like kind of patting this in. And I mean already just on this side, like you can kind of see how I'm manipulating the light with this. I'm like lifting everything up. Just from the little touch right there. Joan said you are so cute. Hi, Joan. Thank you. I appreciate that. Most of the time, it's just like hot mess city. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to blend that out with my fingertips. And I really like with how much coverage I got, it's really lightweight. And I think because of the texture, I'm going to show you on my hand. It's very whipped and it's very airy. And I like the movement on it because it doesn't collect in one place. So if you're worrying about it, like kind of settling in your creases and cracks, which is a wonderful way to describe the way that you have aged around your eyes. I think I just aged four years saying that. Um, you'll really like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna plug that. So Lala says, hello to all my makeup loving ladies. Hi Lala, love that name. And Joe says, 
a you can try a juice cleanse until four, four p.m. Wait, try until oh, like you could do it until four. Right. Oh, I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. And then a suggestion. I'd go to Trader Joe's and be like, is that a black truffle potato chip? <laughs> By the way, one of the other things I really like about this concealer, in the world of no makeup makeup, I do feel like when it comes to areas of your complexion that you have the most discoloration or the most uneven balance, it is around your eye, specifically your lid. Because if you have texture on your lids, I mean, we all can't escape it. It's the way that we age. It automatically looks darker. I think in like the January reset kind of mantra of just like no makeup, beautiful skin, this is really nice to just put on your lids to even all of that out. And it doesn't, to me, look like I have on concealer. It just looks like I have wide awake eyes, which is that's what we're going for. We want people to know that we are paying attention. Um, all right, so we should move on to eyes now that we've done brows. And I have to tell you, I'm kind of obsessed with the little shimmer in my brows. I can't believe I've never done this. All right, so first of all, how pretty is this palette? It's called Pretty Rich from Too Faced, brand new. Look at all of those gorgeous shades. I mean, I only want to use Fancy That mm -hmm. all That's over. Um, sounds French. Fancy That. Oh. 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 Fancy that. <laughs> that. Ha ha ha. Uh, and then we have, by the way, if there's anybody that's French in the chat, I'm sure they were like, worst accent on the planet. Uh, then we have diamonds for breakfast. How pretty is that? I mean, all these metallics, but you've got some good neutrals in there too to just kind of build. Like, all right, if you were looking at this palette, let's do another poll. Would you go for the more shimmery colors or would you go for like the satiny mattes? So Cece's going to put that on the Facebook poll, and you can take that poll on QVC's Facebook page. Yes. So that's where you want to go to ask questions, say hi, and whatnot, because um, you might be watching it on my page or Beauty IQ. I think I'm going to start with, oh, you know what? Fancy that is the nude color. Diamond Glitterati, not to be confused. I'll start with Fancy That, and we'll just see where this takes us. All right, so I'm just going to put that in the crease. Christina loves poor professional. Ugh, Christina, it is sort of dreamy. I can see why you like it. I feel like every, anything from Benefit, I don't even read the title. It's like, I just love your packaging. I'll figure out what it does later, but I want to bring it home now. Adds like real estate to my vanity. All right, I got this. And by the way, I am using Urban Decay brushes. They come in a set of five. You're getting two eye brushes. I used one for concealer and then you're getting um, three face brushes, which is really nice. Kate is joining us from your page and she Hi, says she goes Kate. for a satiny matte. She votes for a satiny matte. Okay, we can do that. All right, I'm going to do princess cut. So that's going to be your satiny matte. I'm going to use that with the same brush that I use for my concealer to just kind of pat that into my lid. This is really pretty. I also love that with Too Faced eyeshadows, there's no fallout. I, I don't think it should matter what order you do your makeup in. I think what order you do your makeup in is a lot of times reliant on what eyeshadow you use, because if there's fallout, you have to do your eyeshadow first. So keep that in mind. But I will say, that's okay. If you have fallout, it doesn't make the eyeshadow bad. It just means you need to start with your eyeshadow first. This is really pretty. I like that it's very subtle. I wonder if they have this in the QVC store. I may have to run down after this and grab that. Ooh. Gotta have your priorities while you're at work. And yeah. it's not shopping if you're at work, because you're like, I was here anyways. Yeah. Just working it's research. on work. Exactly. It's R&D <laughs> for our next Makeup Monday. So June says. Hi, June. I really enjoy watching Courtney. Thanks, very direct June. and easy to learn from her. Yay! Thank you very much, June. All right, I think I'm testing out the glitter shades. I wonder, you know what? I'm just gonna really quickly see what this does. I'm gonna wet the sh So 94% so say I'm definitely more of a neutral matte kind of gal. Okay, neutral matte. 
I am very clearly a very glittery person, <laughs> which is not natural <laughs> whatsoever, but I can change that. I'll just show you the glitter pieces really quickly. And I wet my brush, but like, look how fun that is. Like on your lid, I love that. Like that's definitely ready for like a Friday night with your girls, which is why I love glitter. Because it gives me an excuse to wear that. All right, so I'm gonna do just a little bit of gold shimmer just in the corner of my eyes right here. Ooh, that's fun. And I like how velvety and creamy Too Faced um, eyeshadows are. I think it's really nice to have that because especially as our eyes and the skin around our eyes starts to age, I really like having that texture to kind of smooth out everything. Um, all right, so I'm just doing a little glitter, like right in the center. It's kind of fun. Um, and then I'm gonna take, last but not least, this shade in the center, the princess cut, and I'm just gonna put that on my lids, just a little bit right there. And I'm gonna blend everything out, so. Just wanted to have a little bit of love. Whew. All right, so I'm gonna take a makeup wipe really quickly and just take the excess, just because I only want it in the corner of my eye, just like so. I don't want it to be like down and around underneath my eye. So this is an interesting comment. So Susan says, I'm more of a neutral, but I will most certainly wear glitter and sparkle. She has this palette and it's <gasps> awesome. So Ooh. even the neutral gals will love this palette. Well, you know what I like about the glitter too, is it's not too crazy. Like so many, like so many times you get glitter out and you'd be like, Ooh, whoa, like I can't build upon that. Like it's just shining and radiating from, the Lord up above. Um, but this is like really buildable. And quite frankly, I feel like it's a little refreshing. Like it's just like, you have that sparkle. It doesn't look overdone. Like you can't really tell what eyeshadow shade I have, but it just kind of looks like fresh beaming skin, which is what we're going for. And I appreciate that. I'm gonna take just a little bit of this um, gold color at the bottom, just to kind of continue brightening my eye area up. You know what I think I may do? I may take the um, the liner from the brow and just line my lashes with it. Just so it's like kind of more natural mm -hmm. and it's the same color as my brow. And by doing that, especially with tight lining, a lot of people think tight lining is extra work that like, does it pay off? Is it gonna work? I think if you're somebody with sparse lashes, you should always tight line because that is the quickest way to a fuller looking lash line. And I feel like, if, especially if your lashes fall flat, it makes them not look as flat aesthetically. I don't know how that works with general gravity, but I seem to like it. All right, Would so- you be able to show the palette one more time? Like the yes, I only want to show that palette every day of the week. <laughs> and Leah says, I have to admit, I do like subtle glitter, the, the subtle glitter look of that palette. I could do that. Yeah, I, I think this is, I think this is a palette, honestly, that like, as long as you use the glitter responsibly, you know, if you put it all over your lid, it's gonna look like you put it all over your lid. Uh, but it's buildable. And I actually used it wet so that I had like more room to kind of just like dab it on and spread it out so that it wasn't so concentrated. Um, and I think that's one of the nice things about Urban Decay. You can use them wet or dry, they're tested for both. And they can be very, very pigmented or they can be very subtle. And that'll be up to you. And the packaging is just absolutely exquisite. Too faced. Too faced. Pretty rich. Too faced. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna take in the Ginger Snap shade of the brows, what I use to like microblade my brows cosmetically. I'm gonna just tight line and see what that looks like. And tight lining is just pressing the liquid liner into my lash line so that you don't really have a line per se like you would with traditional liner. You're just kind of filling in the gap. Ah, ta-da. All right, so let me just even this out. I'm gonna make it just a little bit thicker, just so I can. And I like drawing just a little tiny wing to open up my eyes, because I have two different shaped eyes, which is its own battle. But I feel like by doing that, it kind of lifts everything up and makes them look the same shape and open. Open and ready to take on the day. So 82% says, they say, I'm definitely more of a neutral mallet, or ma neutral <laughs> mallet palette kind of gal. 
But as we learned, this pal would still work. Did you watch that sh Netflix show, You? Not yet. It started it. <sighs> My gosh, it's so good. I'm excited. He's so psycho, but you're kind of into it. Yes. You're like, he is psychotic for his lady. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> <laughs> You're like, in the world of fictional characters, don't hate it. <laughs> like, he actually was tweeting saying, like, I guess people were, like, asking him out, like, his character out on Twitter, and he was like, no, thank you, because he, he was like, you shouldn't like my character. Yeah, you should definitely so, not like that character. <laughs> like, only in a fictional space are you like, hmm. Like, <laughs> he obviously loves Guinevere Beck a lot uh, and is down to do anything for her. And I mean, how cute is Penn Bagley anyways? Like, even if he was like not a psychotic, crazy person and was just, you know, like you've got male cute, you still love him. All right, so that's gonna be my liquid liner that I use that's actually an eyebrow pencil. But you know what, that's what I think is great about multitasking beauty is like, you'll find a way to use it even if it doesn't say to use it that way. All right, so next up I'm going to use the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. And so just to show you that shape, I like when brushes are shaped like that. There's like a little bit of a curve in there because you can just kind of like get in there and swoop up on your lashes, which I am going to do right now. Ooh, this is really nice. I like this a lot. And by the way, if you are tuning in for the first time, like maybe you saw this in an email First of all, thanks for tuning in. We do this every Monday around four o'clock. It's our version of happy hour. And we just do makeup. We do makeup, we do hair, we do skincare, we do all of it. We talk about our favorite yeah. shows. Yes, yes, we talk about our favorite gas, gas station, station food. food. Mm. <laughs> um, I know where I'm stopping on the way home. <laughs> Do you think you'll stop at a Wawa or do you think you'll stop at a 7 Eleven? We have is both. On the way. I love Wawa. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. Catherine says uh, she loves tight lining. Yay. I know. It's, it really does make your lashes look fuller, even if you are not wearing mascara. And having liquid pens like that with brushes at the end, all you have to do is just pat it into your lash line. It is so easy. And it's amazing how much more open your eye looks, how much fuller your lashes are. But honestly, I think it brings a sense of youth there as well, which I really like. Okay, so for me, this is more like defining your natural lash line. Like this is not something that like on four coats, I'd be like, this is my Friday night mascara. But honestly, the way that this is building, I feel like it's enhancing my natural lash line in a way that's like not overwhelming. Like it's very natural, but very detailed and like perfect for the everyday, but perfect for the everyday lashes. Like are those falsies? Like for me, this is looking like it's all about length, which is good. Wow, your eyes look amazing in this view right now. Yay! I, mean, I can't they look see amazing. it anyway. But in the stream, you're like looking down. You can see like the. It almost looks like rose gold glitter dreams. This is how we're living our life, Cece. This is me and you. <laughs> Sean and Mike are also living rose gold dreams. I bet they didn't think that they were going to talk about that today. Actually, uh, before this. Me and Sean were talking about our rose gold dreams. <laughs> <laughs> there may have been a soft embrace. A, a soft, cuddly embrace. Or I feel you. Warm rose gold. Embrace, yeah. If you will. I love it. <laughs> Thank you for participating in this wonderful conversation. You guys add so much to it. Okay, so I think I just found like my new favorite like bottom lash liner. Look how long my lashes look. Especially on the bottom. I love long lashes on the bottom. Mariah is tuning in on Beauty IQ's page. Hi, and Mariah. she says that Benefit is her favorite mascara. <gasps> that is, I could see how it would be. This is the first time that I'm using it, and I have to tell you, I am loving this. Loving, loving, loving. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bronzer now that I'm finished with my rose gold champagne mm -hmm. eyes, as CC dubbed it. And I'm gonna go for the Clinique bronzer. Which, let me open it up, if I can get it open. Trick. Bear with me. Okay, hang on. Okay, I think I'm crazy. Can you, you wanna say hi, Cece? 
Come on, say hi. Because I can't open it. <laughs> so I love how you're like, this is the other CC. I'm CC hi. and this is CC. This is like one of our beauty besties. Let's see. Yeah, how did, like. Hmm. Oh. Oh, oh, gets it on the first try. So you're going to want to press this in and not just trying to open it up with your phalanges like I was. And I think like clawing it open was probably a more accurate description. <laughs> That bronzer is like, go easy on me. <laughs> All right, so this is the true pressed bronzer. I am in shade two, which is sun kissed. And so I'm actually just gonna take this all over my complexion because I'm wearing a camel turtleneck and I kind of want to warm up my complexion so that it's got the same warmth as my sweater. And this is nice because this is like a, a true matte bronzer. So I feel like in the scheme of bronzer. I don't think this will be one that you have to worry about dirtying your complexion. Because that happens sometimes. Especially like when you get the bronzers with like different depths. But if you're ever wondering how to fill in your complexion with bronzer, always leave like this area open. Like don't bronze that because then that'll make your forehead just kind of draw down. You want to leave like right in here all illuminated. So the easiest way are to draw threes. But if you want like a little more consistent warmth, you can just lightly dust this over the places that you have powder and it's like, ooh, instant tan. Um, all right. Oh, we actually have ooh. a fun comment. So Susan says, Susan's been a very active Hi, Susan, thank you. Um, so she says that Benefit has a mascara called Bad Gal Bang and it's awesome and we actually sell it. So it's on <gasps> QVC.com. Ooh, I wonder if that's like the thick falsies lashes. Cause this I think is definitely like enhancing natural length, which I love for like the everyday. So we'll definitely have to check out that mascara. I'm so excited we have all these brand new brands to QVC and Beauty IQ. And that's why if you go to our website, it's so important to check out the New Beauty, New You event because you can actually sort it by the newest products that are debuting at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. on Beauty IQ and QVC and kind of get a little sneak peek before everybody else does. Like I always say I love QVC. She's like our big sister to Beauty IQ, but it's like when she wakes up, she takes everything. It's like, you know, you gotta, you gotta get it while it hasn't been on air yet and on .com, so that way you can like sneak it first. Um, all right, Pop Sugar came out with their own beauty collection and it has been so much fun because first of all, aesthetically, it's really pretty. Like it's not gonna be a boring presentation of any cosmetics that you have. And in here, what's nice about this color is this is called Spring Fling. I love that you get this beautiful peach shade in the center, but you get different variations of rose gold champagne and then also highlighter which is going to give dimension and also lift to your cheekbones this is really great because if you kind of have a round face like I do and don't have cheekbones having that look of light really lifts everything up so that you have the appearance of cheekbones and overall that youth flush vibe that we're always going for so I'm just gonna dap in the center and I like using angled brushes for my blush because it helps me rein it in I overdo it on blush, which I know is surprising to a lot of you, but I need something that doesn't just put it in two round circles like a clown, because I also think that looks good. All right, so I'm just gonna dab this right here, just like that. And oftentimes one of the things that I think is most helpful when you're doing blush is just to remember, dab off the excess powder. Because it's so easy to overdo it, I'm gonna take mine just and like round it up right there. This kind of helps with that. Ah, voila. All right, so last but not least, we've got to talk about lips. And, oh, I should mention this. We don't have any powder here, but Beauty Blender is back and better than ever with their signature sponge, which like helps you get in all the nooks and crownies and like just press in your concealer so that you have absolutely flawless skin. It is great for makeup, especially liquid foundations. If you want to start with like an argon oil base and like just yumminess and skin or argon milk, you can then press your foundation in and it looks like the most miraculous skin. What I haven't used, and Cece, I don't know if you've used this or not, but it's like this little fluffy. No, but I'm dying to use it. It's what you use for powder and it feels so good on your skin. So you'll use that for your powder foundation, but that's a set and worth noting from our friends at Beauty Blender. All right, so now I have two choices. This is called a whole lot of honey, whole lot of honey. Um, from Clinique and it's these great little color pencils. I like these because I may not use this as all on lip color, but I might use it as liner. 
And so I'm gonna just lay that down. It's so creamy and emollient. My lips are so dry right now. It literally looks like I'm 100, celebrating my 100th birthday Happy on my lips. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Took us a long time to look like this, it's and a um, right? yeah, just right on in there. Do we All have right. time for, for me to read some comments on Beauty IQ? Of course we have time. Okay, so Mariah says, thanks for the shout out. You just made my day. You and Elise are my favorite. Absolutely gorgeous inside and out. Have taught me so much about makeup and just mm -hmm. feeling confident and rocking new looks. Good, yay. And That's then awesome. Diana says, hello from Boca, great color. <gasps> And then we have a question from Trisha. Yes. She says, hi, Courtney, on a day-to-day -day basis, do you line your eyes or just use mascara? Honestly, on a day-to-day -day basis, in my real life, I actually don't wear that much makeup. I don't know if it's because I work for a beauty channel, but like the person that I walk in the door after I've come into work, like is not the person that my husband gets like on date night. Like I'm like barely, <laughs> if I make it out of the door with like CC cream on, that's like a big feat. Um, I like a more natural approach to makeup, but I also love, you know, getting dressed up every night for work and wearing a lot of makeup because with the studio lights, if we don't, it look, honestly, it looks like we have the flu. Like you'd be like, are you feeling okay? Um, so we wear a lot of makeup, we wear a lot of concealer, and we wear a lot of bronzer to warm up our complexions. But honestly, on a day to day, I probably don't wear mascara or liner. It's just CC cream and a great lip balm. But... I will say with the Tatra, and this is kind of creepy that I've started this, they have a Camellia Oil Lip Balm, which is like so enriching. It's got 24 karat gold flex in there, which is mm -hmm. awesome. I've actually been taking it on my lips and with like the leftover on my fingers, I put it on my lashes. And it's like a glossy little moment for my lashes Ooh. that doesn't look like mascara, but it kind of gives them length and like holding power. It has not been approved to use for your eyes, but I would like to say that I think mine are just fine. <laughs> So, I don't know when or why I started doing that, but it was like one day, like I had some left over my finger, and I'm like, You're like huh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a and it worked. Yeah. Um, by the way, thrilled that we have Smashbox back in the rotation. I still think their Halo is hands down the best powder foundation on the planet. One, it lasts for forever. I think the first time that I had mine, mine lasted for a year. You like turn it and it like freshly chisels out this foundation. And it's like, if you want cashmere for skin that's full coverage and honestly like people will, would like touch your skin and be like, how's that real? That's not possible. Why is that your skin? That is the powder foundation that you've been waiting for your entire life. And I'm gonna just layer over the Clinique Lip Crayon in a Smashbox lip color that is rouge. It's like I had a little bit of honey and I had some rouge, and rouge today. And very French. It, it's so French. Rouge. 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 <clears throat> oh, this is pretty. Actually, I'm not gonna put it on all the way because I want it to be an ombre. So I'm just gonna take on the lighter color. And how I do my ombre is I paint the darker color on on the outside and I do full coat coverage. And then I just layer on the lighter color just in the center of my lips. So it gives you some fun dimension. Love that. Okay, I think we made it through. <gasps> New to QVC, new to Beauty yeah, IQ. So we can go through the new brands. Would love to go through the new brands. Okay, so we started with my face. Uh, getting it in order, this is from Clarins, the original. I love Clarins because first of all, it's a form of natural based beauty, which they infuse into every single product that they do. And this one was the Ginseng Energizing Boosting Gel Moisturizer. I love gel in the winter time because it's not particularly heavy, but this one has staying power. And so if you feel like you need a really good moisturizer in the morning that you're not gonna have to wait five minutes before you apply makeup, before you set anything, I think you'll really like the texture of this and it smells like oranges and ginger, which inspired our conversation to then start off, what is your favorite gas station food? <laughs> Take a left turn, but they also have green juices there. From there, we have the Urban Decay Naked Skin, and this is a brand that we introduced in the latter part of 2018, and it's been something that all of us beauties in the office have been really salivating over. They're a tremendous brand when it comes to the color payoff that they have, but also the range of pigments that work for any skin tone and any range. This is 
great skin in a bottle. Meaning if you don't wear makeup, this is a serum based foundation that has full coverage on the first application and it doesn't look heavy. I also think that if you don't wear makeup but you kind of need those color correcting properties, this is a nice one with staying power that you can use every single day. I was in shade 4.0, which is a true medium shade. From there, we actually had the brow blade from Urban Decay and on one side it's a micronized pencil. The other side is like this liquid pencil that I used on my eyelashes, but I painted a few extra hairs in my brow because I could and now it looks like I have microbladed, microbladed uh, brows with a hint of little gel that had shimmer but I don't hate it. I feel like that shimmer added dimension that makes me look like I have a lot of brow hair that I didn't start the show with. From there, we went to the most gorgeous palette. This is from Too Faced. We kicked this off in December of 2018 and it's just such a pretty brand. It's really about highlighting your best features, really making you your most unique beauty. And inside this, not only do you have a mirror that is equivalent of like mirror, mirror on the wall. Totally. Who's the fairest of them all? You, my pretty. Uh, inside, cool. you've got 16 different shades that are kind of these matte satiny shades. So they still have a little bit of dimension to them. They're not overly shimmery. And then you have some really fun ones that you can play around with. And don't let these glitter shades scare you because they're buildable. I put them on my eyes and I like that it's not overdone. It's not like crazy glitterati. It's just like that hint of shimmer, but you can build. And best part about it is there's no fallout on the glitter. Because if you've ever tried to move glitter on your complexion and it hits your cheek, it's like, good luck. <laughs> it landed in one of five million pores and it's there permanently. <laughs> so you get out the Clarisonic on the exfoliating one and you're like, hoping for the best. And even then it might be there the next day. So take that with a grain of salt, but seriously, one of the most pretty palettes I've seen from Too Faced. We then did a little bronzer from um, Clinique, which by the way, to open it, you press in. You don't just claw it open <laughs> like I did. And so that's in a nice sun-kissed shade. It's a little bit more matte, which is good because if you're somebody that wants to warm up your complexion in a really natural way and not be too overly contour, I think this is a great shade to consider. We have Pop Sugar, which launched their line of beauty exclusively here, which was really exciting. Everything that you see from Pop Sugar aesthetically is just beautiful, it's pretty, and you just like can't get a makeup brush in there quick enough to be able to use it. This is their um, their blush in Spring Fling, and I like it because you get a matte shade to start building with, but there's also highlighters and illuminating blush um, pigments in there as well to lift your cheekbones up so that you can lift your cheekbones up, have the conversation of, have you lost weight? You look great. What are you using? What are you doing? Juice cleanse? Juice cleanse? Knew no, it. Yeah, my beauty by pop sugar. that was like one of the things that I was like really hoping that I'd wake up with like radiant skin from the juice cleanse. No difference whatsoever. No difference. Uh, and then last but not least, we used the lip crayon pencil from Clinique in the uh, moisturizing color bomb. And I will say it's very, very balmy. It feels really good and soothing on your lips. And this is called a whole lot of honey. 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 And then we also used the Smashbox color which I'm using right here, and then this is in the Rouge. And it's just a little liquid lipstick that I wanted to put over, just to ombre a little bit, but that's all she wrote, folks. So if you're looking at Smashbox, you're looking at Too Faced, you're looking at Benefit, and thinking, oh my gosh, I had no idea. We had all these brands on QVC. We are thrilled to have them. And with our beauty event, New Beauty, New You, in full effect for the entire month of January, you actually get very um, amazing prices on a lot of your favorites that you didn't know that you love. So and all beauty is on six <gasps> easy pays until the 19th. Yes. All beauty on six easy payments, which is wonderful. Because if you're like a six month supply on skincare, serums, you're like, okay, for $5 a month, I can do that. Mm -hmm. I can live that life. Um, I also just think it's more excuse to get more beauty home, which by the way, like I don't need another lipstick. I don't need another foundation, but looking at all of this, it's like, I can't get down to the QVC store fast enough after our show today, but click on the link. It'll take you to the makeup Monday landing page where you can shop everything that we, uh, displayed for you in the show today and that I put on, um, to create this, like this kind of soft January, like illuminizing look. And that's all she wrote. And tomorrow. So we're going to be live, if you want to let them know. We're going to be live on Facebook all week. What? Every day. Every day. At what time? Tomorrow. Around 4. Yeah. Around 4. Okay. And tomorrow, we're going to have the Sloan Showdown featuring <gasps> Brooke Shields. So Sloan is going against Brooke Shields tomorrow? In a Sloan Showdown. Oh. Yeah. Showdown. My gosh. At 4 p.m. I have to watch. 
Yeah. Okay, perfect. Facebook. All right. Well, we will see you then 4 p.m. with Sloan and with Brooke Shields. That's going to be so much fun. That's going to wrap it up for me, but I will see you back next Monday with more Makeup Monday. Ooh, and check my Facebook afterwards, Courtney Case and QVC, because I posted before and after of what we started with and what we ended with. Bye, beauties.